Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a synth wave up and lead sound. So we have the up, which sounds like this. And then we have the lead, which sounds like this. Okay, so to start off with the up, open up a new instance of Serum and turn the unison on the oscillator up to 16 and the detune down to 0 0.02. Now turn on oscillator 2 and the filter. We want to make sure that we check B on the filter so that it affects both oscillator A and oscillator B. And then we just want to scroll on the filter to the right to MG low 18. You can also use MG 12 or MG 24 depending on how much of the high frequencies you want to let through. Now we just turn the resonance down to zero and the cutoff to about 50 hertz. Now we're going to want to go to envelope two and lower the decay about 450 ms and turn the sustain all the way down. Now with this envelope, we want to drag it onto the cutoff filter and turn it to about 50. Now that we've added the envelope two to the cutoff filter, the cutoff will start to open and close at the speed that we have set here with the decay. So now we want to locate Serum in the detail menu down the bottom click this little triangle which will unfold the device parameters. Now just click on configure and then head back over to the Serum display. Note that anything we click on now within Serum will be added to the device parameter section. This will help us with the automation that we are going to do as it keeps it all within one area. So we want to click on detune, cutoff and then the little blue thing outside of cutoff filter. Turning up the detune will raise the spread of the voices, turning up the cutoff will raise the cutoff frequency and let the higher frequencies pass through. And turning up the last parameter, which remember is assigned to envelope two, will turn up the amount which the filter opens and closes by. So just click configure again to confirm your changes. Now for the actual automation, I have mine starting at the values we set and slowly increasing and building in tension. However, you can automate it in any way that you like. Finally, I've just added a ping pong delay with the left right set to 3, a feedback of 60% and a dry wet of 27. I've also cut out everything under 140 hertz because we don't want to be adding in any unwanted low frequencies and then I've boosted a bit of the highs. Okay, so that's everything for that. Now let's move on to the lead. So I've created this lead sound with the Arturo Mini V3, which is an amazing plugin that I highly recommend and I'll leave a link to it and Serum in the description. So you want to load up your Mini V3 and make sure that the three oscillator preset has been selected. And then on oscillator two, you wanna increase the range to eight and then turn on the noise and increase it to about 8.5, making sure that the pink noise is selected. From there, turn the VCF attack to 47 milliseconds and turn the decay to 960 and the sustain to 535. Then turn up the loudness attack to 24 milliseconds and the loudness decay to 1000 milliseconds. Now you want to click on the drop down arrows here, turn off the modulation matrix, turn on the delay and just keep it as it is. So for the post processing on this, I just have an EQ taking out everything below 380 Hertz for the same reason I was cutting out the lows on the up and then I just have a slight auto pan on it as well. So that's everything for this tutorial. In the next one, I'll be covering the bases from the song and then after that, the pads. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And if you feel like supporting me, why not subscribe to me on YouTube or potentially consider becoming a Patreon supporter. There's a link to that and everything else in the bio below.